The seed oil scare is an artificial psyop. Seed oils, they're largely amazing for you. People don't want to hear that. Wait, what? You've got, you've what? got everyone. Yeah. GMO, no soy, GMO soybean no oil? Way. No, no, no. Well, you just said soybean oil. I'd like to remind you, soybean is not a seed. Sesame seed is a great seed. Healthy, very nutritious. You got flax seed. You've got hemp seed. You've got all these are now off the menu for yeah. the idiots. But what are they using? But to the fry? Fly, flax seed is really fry? bad for your testosterone. A lot of studies not, have found not as necessarily. Well. Let's get back to the seed oil conversation <laughs> that everyone's waiting for, because you know we got to be careful with what we discuss. Because I, I always appreciate the nuance. I understand the power of like olive oil and black seed oil. That that is really good for you. But I think you know overall the the Crisco engine lubricant that they introduced that right. they had overabundance of right. that they introduced in our food system is absolutely uh, horrible for you and sure. uh, absolutely uh, should, know, people should yeah. avoid since it's it's in every f right. aspect of our food at the grocery store now. And to follow so, up with that before you get started when you see the pictures from like the 60s people on the beaches and you see them now and you're like right. where is the obesity coming from sure and they're you know they're correlating that with seed oils is that not do you think that's well it was a big big increase in fast food period um i definitely don't think tallow is going to save the world tallow is if you're into things like a lady by the name of uh, adriana croom Adrena blank oh tallow is essentially that it's rendered beef fat it's it's the least choice cuts of meat it's usually the stuff you wouldn't even feed your dog getting rendered you like knuckle fat you know things like that to think that people are smearing that on their body it's like something out of science fiction this dead i've done slop. it slop i mean and people who look who use tallow uh, long in life they always get this rosiness and they always get this uh it's agitating to the skin you'll be way better off with olive oil Coconut oil. If you've got darker skin, coconut oil's going to be better for you. If you've got lighter skin, olive oil's a little bit more suited. Why, Why is that? I love coconut oil. Well, we're coconut all different. We're, we're different. Correct. Po pore size and I mean, I've ashiness. never heard. I've never heard about the olive oil for light oh, skin. Yeah. I use coconut oil a lot, so I'm curious. Well, no. coconut oil can be a little bit yeasty for white people, to put it plainly. It can, it can, yeasty? Yeah, what does that mean? It can be just more reactions. Like, it can stay alive on your skin and kind of welcome other bacteria a little bit okay, yeast I've heard about being that. yeah so if you use it in cracks and crevices it's not as solvent into white skin as olive oil would be and coconut oil does great for darker skin types and if you like if both are good then it's great but tallow should be the last on the menu frankly and i just want to talk about the industrial lubricant thing um if i'm not mistaken please check me on this but canola oil i think is 60s or 70s Industrial Revolution was clearly a couple hundred years before that. Now, in those times, they weren't using sesame seed oil. They're not using soybean oil to lubricate these machines. Paul Saladino is a flat-out liar, okay? To think that these seed oils are helping anybody, I'm not saying they are, okay? But we're calling things that aren't seed oils, seed oils. That's the biggest problem. Vegetable oil, not entirely seed oil. Soybean is a bean. It's amazing for you when it's non-GMO. The issue is soybean oil is the most GMO thing on the planet. Mm -hmm. That you shouldn't be ingesting. But soy, uh, the soybean is not a seed. So right there, we run into an issue. Okay, <laughs> canola is not is not necessarily the seed either, right? I think they call that uh, rapeseed, right? Mm -hmm. But there's other sources as well. Palm oil, again, this is one that people complain about all the time. Not necessarily a seed oil. Okay, and by the way, holistic vegetarians have known these things were bad for you the whole time, way before Paul Saladino came. So it's really just this, uh, this movement that is pushing people towards death and decay and consuming um, you know, rotting corpses, which is essentially what, what tallow is. It's not even the stuff you'd feed to your dog. So that's not a skin product. They're just rendering out all the stuff so it looks like coconut oil by the time it gets to you. Or shea butter. Shea butter is very good too. That's for dark, dark skin types. Gosh, but I, if I keep it, it works the wrong for you ones. too, it could work for you too. It could work. I mean, coconut oil works great for me. I'm not that. Yeah. Good. So you're eating French fries. It doesn't matter where you get them in. You don't think there's a preferred method. Well, like what they should be fried in. Yeah, for the most. So part. you know, well now we're going into like, uh, like, uh, you know, culinary like tips. But basically, <laughs> you'd uh, you'd want to use a high smoke point. 
oil. So avocado oil is amazing. They're not using those in most restaurants, though. So I think no, 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 no. And tallow is not good for you either, by the way. All very inflammatory. I like butter. Very, what about ghee? Very likely to get you fat. Ghee is better. It's much better. It's, I'd choose ghee over tallow, but it's got kind of a stronger flavor. Yeah. Can we put I, ghee I on our a, skin? I had, a, I had a different kind of experience personally myself because when I just used to eat the modern kind of fast food diet, I was sure. I was pretty fat. I gained a lot of weight. Right. I started to focus on a lot of butter, a lot of tallow, a lot of olive oil. Uh, sure. you, know, you know, and then uh, I've gotten a lot leaner. So yeah. I, I use a lot of protein. You know, Bill Tong is, is one of the guys we work with. But ever since introducing more protein in my diet, I feel a lot better. I feel a lot healthier. Sure. Um, Did he fall for the psyop? Because I feel I feel the same way. No, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. No, no, no. no. I, I feel healthier. I feel better. My sleep is better. Yeah. I, I I did cut out uh, carbs, and then I felt miserable, and my sleep was horrible, and I wasn't mm-hmm. I wasn't as uh, as healthy as I was when I reintroduced carbs. Now yeah. I do rice. Now I do vegetables. I do potatoes, and I feel uh, amazing with that diet specifically. But a carnivore diet is not right for me. Sure. And I think with with these type of larger health discussions, the nuance is what is right for you might not be right for me, vice well, versa. So I'm always very careful with what I specifically say about people. But I think I, I, the food industry is corrupted, sure. and I think they're absolutely poisoning us yeah. in, in so many different horrible ways. And I think seed oils are the main way that they're doing it. Well, I would agree with you. You know, the, the seed oils that are an issue, they're a bad issue, and they should be avoided. But tallow is not the solution. Butter, definitely a solution. Butter is great. Butter comes out the good end. Butter comes out the right end, Right. Um, if it's good, if it's clean, organic, unpasteurized, of course, you know, dairy should always be unpasteurized. The thing about, uh, just I'd like to touch on the industrial lubricant uh, fallacy. Industrial machinery was running on animal-based lubrication long before it ever switched over to seed oil. And in fact, today, I would go out and say most machinery is still lubricated with Tallow? Some t- no, some type of animal-derived lubricant. It's very, very common. To, uh, canola oil, again, only gets implemented in like the 60s or the 70s. We had tons of fat people by then. We had tons of cancer by then. Canola oil, you should always avoid, definitely. But it's not necessarily a seed of soybean oils, not necessarily a seed. So when we say seed oil psyop, that's the psyop. The seed oil umbrella term, it's not accurate. You're throwing out mm-hmm. oils that are way better for you than uh, tallow, hemp seed, flax seed, sesame seed. I mean, people, Paul Saladino will look you right in the face and say, humans never ate seed oils until 50 years ago, 100 years ago. He's lying. Sesame seed oil is one of the oldest things in the world to be cooked with. Uh, Native Japanese use it quite a bit, and they yes. have Native Paul. Paul, if you want to come on to debate, yeah. if you Native, want to come on to debate next time, you're the, welcome. There's to come not join. a lot of fats in Japan. Well, Native Americans have been using sunflower seed oil for thousands of years, thousands and thousands of years. Okay, they'd never heard of butter. These guys were living to a hundred years old in America, Native America. Never heard of the cow, pig, chicken, none of this. They were healthy. They looked great. I've got pictures. We talk about it on my channel. Holistic health is a big thing. Florida has always been a leader in the holistic health movement ever since uh, America started. So that's why it's relevant. And again, nutrition is the biggest conspiracy theory of them all. What goes in your mouth is up to you. So yeah, that's happening. As of course, I've been telling people to prepare for a very long time. I just released a video about how to prepare on LukeUnfiltered.com, a special secret, not so secret society where you get to join a lot of really cool, awesome people and be a part of the larger conversations that uh, no one else really has. I go deep down the rabbit hole. I talk about my personal decisions. I talk about things that I do in my life that I am using information on in order to, of course, better it. And that's the information that I try to share with you in order to help promote, build, grow, and expand our human consciousness, wealth, prosperity, and liberty. Freedom is in your hands if you decide to act on it in the proper way. And I've built LukeUnfiltered.com 12 plus years of behind the scenes videos just on that basic model alone of trying to give you the tools, the information, the seed oil cards, the crap list of items you should be avoiding at the supermarket. That's all available for members of LukeUnfiltered.com. If you haven't signed up yet, what are you waiting for? Signing up is key, it's crucial, and it's more important than ever. 
Sign up right now, lukeunfiltered.com. It's quick, it's easy, it's simple. You go here and whatever your budget allows, I know times are hard, but for just eight bucks, 20 cents a day, you could uh, sign up right here, click it, and then you just put in a little bit of information. You get emailed back a login, you log in, and you get a lot of really awesome values that are a lot more valuable than Netflix. You have a choice. You want to do Netflix or you want to do lookunfiltered.com. Make that choice. Vote with your dollars. Vote with your clicks. Start to decide your own life path right now. Three master classes that will teach you some really incredible skills. Do you want to sit there and be glazed by the satanic, evil, corporatist, demonic propaganda that plays on your subconscious and emotional, psychological weaknesses? Or... Do you want to be uplifted and, of course, enlightened and given information that a lot of powerful people don't want you to have? That decision is yours, and it starts with you. Signing up to lookunfiltered.com. Sign up there right now, and I will see you there right after this broadcast. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you signing up to lookunfiltered.com. And because you do, this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on youtube.com forward slash we are change. 